Eric's got a new hairstyle. Yep, straight from Uzbekistan. That's his Uzbeki hat. We're expecting it to be cold. It's, it's not so bad here in the sun. We're here today. We're doing Ista Shiwatl Volcano. This is uh, 5,000 to 230 meters. We're going to go to, I think, a hair over 4,000. And it's uh, sunny and nice now. It's, uh, I would guess it's maybe 10 or 12 degrees. Warmer than, than expected. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and shorts for now. I've got a jacket, toque, gloves. It will get cold. Um, this is the visitor center. You gotta get the permiso and I'll go around the corner and show uh, the star. So this is the uh, active, you can see the smoke coming out of it. Popocatepetl volcano. This is uh, 5,400 meters, 5,500 meters around there. Covered with snow a couple of weeks ago, but that uh, doesn't last very long. I'll get a better, uh, better shot of it here. There it is. Oh, now a nice little uh, mini eruption. This big, or a decent sized cloud of ash just came farting out. Cool. This is the visitor center. You gotta register here and pay. It was, uh, how much is it? 50, 58 pesos per person? 58 per person, yeah. This is that they've done a good job of uh, renovating this. It's much, much nicer than it was when I first came here like 15 years ago. Very nice and very echoey. Gracias, que tengan buen día. This is what I expected today. Very clear. Good time of year. Yep. All right. Yep. So to get from the visitor center to the East Ashiwatl volcano, it's an eight kilometer stretch of road like this. It's been uh, sandy, but now it gets rocky and bumpy and it gets, gets worse than this. And there's East Ashiwatl Volcano. 5,230 meters. So after that eight kilometer drive, we've arrived at, this is called La Jolla. This is like a parking lot. Uh, starting point, I guess, for a lot of people that are gonna go to the summit. Where we're going today, it's going to take several hours, and then to the summit past there is another six hours. So the summit requires an overnight stay, <clears throat> which I did in 2009. These guys are all, uh, we heard them talking out there, going to be camping here, setting up their tents. There's some tents here, here. I think they sell food here. 
So we're going to uh, start going up this way. We're going somewhere around. This is not the, the summit. This is not the highest point. It goes beyond and considerably higher than that. But you can't see from here. The hike begins. Couple of minutes walking and you're at La Jolla and I gotta <clears throat> correct myself. It's not 4,000 meters that we're going to. We're starting at 4,000. We're at 39, 3,961 meters now. So we're gonna be uh, close to 5,000, maybe 4,800 meters, around 16,000 feet in a few hours. Ah, yeah, here's where we are now, 3,990. 3,390 right here. I don't think we'll see any snow today. Maybe a tiny bit. Look at this majestic view. It's beautiful. This is probably the hardest part right here. The steepest is right at the very beginning. Quite cold in the shade. <sighs> Trying to keep the camera level.
should have a good view here. How's this? So we're at the first uh, Portillo. I just checked we're at uh, 4,000. 290 around here, meters. And more remnants of another little burp or fart. Putting his hair on? Yep. It's getting chilly. Look at this. This part gets a little bit difficult, kind of uh, steep, loose rock. Eric's gone ahead of me, I just have to follow his hair or his hat.
Obviously lower flat. About 20, 30 meters in front of me. This should be the next portillo. So I'm in third place to get here. You're in second place. Your hat is in first place. That says how it runs. Yep. First is Uzbekistan, then Belgium, then Canada. Ah, a little bit of snow there. Yep. The sun never hits there. Ah, look at this. I was just going to say, that wasn't very easy, was it? That's, that's always the part that I... It's longer than I remember. Like I remember it. Loose I don't remember being at yeah. loose and it's steep. Yeah. It's funny, I was thinking when we were coming up, we see all these people. We've seen uh, 40 people today, maybe, maybe, maybe on our trips. Yeah. All, I think, are mostly European. I've heard everybody speaking English but with a some kind of European yeah. accent. I've heard some Dutch people. Yeah I've heard a few accents and now uh, what's funny is like this guy here in front of me uh -huh. everybody's got probably hundreds and hundreds maybe over a thousand dollars worth of gear. Yep. They might be wearing boots that are three hundred dollars. They all have packs. They, they probably have trekking poles that are 150 bucks. Yeah. And I'm wearing a seven dollar kiss shirt. Yeah. And uh probably 11 or 12 dollar jorts and 40 or 50 dollar boots yeah. and a five dollar hat yeah i'm the uh as shakira says i'm the casio these guys are the rolexes that seems to be the case and i'm doing yeah. just as well the, you, the next day uh pk signed the sponsor deal with casio no with with uh twingo no the with car casio company oh casio, casio too Ah, taking advantage of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess he's shown who's, or thinks he's shown who's boss. Yeah. But this guy here in front of us, he's got a big pack. I think all these people coming down, they were probably at the yeah, summit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they're well prepared. And if they're coming yeah. down at this time, 
they were up at the summit hours ago. Yep. Another uh, eruption here. Constantly. Yeah, it's constantly melting. Usually just like the the white from Marola, which yeah, you can see like the occasional. Yeah, darker one. Yeah. Looks like your hat. This is a rare appearance by my old nemesis, Snow. There's Eric.
This is uh, East Ashiwato in front of us. I mean, uh, well, in front of the camera, which is behind us now. And Popo also behind. Tough stretch here. We've been going for half an hour or so. Only from uh, right here. Very slow going on this part. Sandy, slippery, steep. We've reached our destination. This hut right here. Been going for three hours and 31 minutes to get to this point. It's another six hours from here to the summit. We talked to a couple of people that started at the uh, camera if it's on the video. They started at 1:30 in the morning and uh, got up to the summit at 10 in the morning, and then made their way back down. No, no stops. I mean, I guess they stopped to rest, but not an overnight. Just 1.30 in the morning until 10. I did that in 2009. A little different. I had an overnight stay. Brutal from here. My God, to go up there. Some uh, emergency supplies. That part looks brutal. Yeah, it's just super brutal to sleep here. We tried to sleep here once and it was uh, full of people. Three floors, one. Two, three, and each one sleeps probably six people. <coughs> Double sided. Yeah, I guess it looks brutal. So it can sleep maybe 36 to 40 people. Are you going up tomorrow? Done. Back in the parking lot after <clears throat> almost six hours. <clears throat> so it took three and a half to get up to the hut and about an hour and 48 to get back down to the car. Uh, almost six hours total. Long day. One of the more, um, maybe the most difficult hike that uh, that Eric and I do. I've got a trekking pole here, so the camera might be a little bit wonky. Uh, but a good one. It could, could be my new favorite. Uh, it's good for once a year. Perfect day today. The weather was awesome. And here's how it looks now. And there's some tents here. I guess these are people that stay and go up in the middle of the night, or I don't know when they go up. And here comes Eric behind me.
That was five hours and 50 the whole day. Okay. Pretty good. 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 It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It's a tough one. Long drive, long hike. Yeah, the, the drive to, to here is what, close to three hours? Um, Two and a half? More. To this point, was it around three, no? Around three, yeah. Around yeah. three. Long day, three hour drive, yeah. six hour hike, three hour drive back. Uh, but has become one of my favorites. Very nice. Yeah, very Beautiful. nice, especially when the weather is good like today. All right, that's all from uh, here at La Jolla at uh, Iztaccíhuatl Volcano in Popocatépetl. It's right over there, almost, uh, almost invisible. That's all.